Hey there, how's it going? It's Mark and I'm here in my apartment and Tuna is here with me as well and I'm doing the reading from The Golden Present Daily Inspirational Readings by Sri Swami Satchidananda and this is a project that I started on December 21st and I'll be continuing this until December 20th or 21st of this year. Reading each day and sharing from different places and including people when I am able to coordinate. And the reading for today, June 30th, last day of June, you enjoy the white writing because there is a black board behind it. That's the topic today. Hmm. Don't give room for temporary depressions. Hmm. Things come and go. Nothing is permanent in this world. Even our bodies come and go. You once had a young body, now you have an adult body. Someday you will have an old body and one day you will even have a dead body. But still, you have a body. It's the body that goes through all these changes. You are immortal. Identify the real you, the real I. When you play soccer, you kick the ball around. The ball goes through all the motions, but you are doing the playing. You enjoy the movements of the ball. Likewise, let your mind be your soccer ball. Wherever it goes, just enjoy it. Even to enjoy nice, beautiful writing on a board, the board should be black because the chalk is white. You enjoy the white writing because there is a black board behind it. Don't forget that. You enjoy the pain because there is pleasure behind it. Hmm. We are the knowers, we are the seers. Remember that truth always. Apply this whenever you are in a depressed state. Jump up, shake it off, and say, Hey, I'm a lion. This is all just temporary. I have come across this before, and I know it will go away. You can heal yourself. There is a beautiful part of the mind a powerful part of the mind that can always get you out of any problem. Use that part, the brilliant part, the bright part. Don't succumb to the other side of the mind. Wow. This is great. I like being able to have that visual metaphor of the white chalk on a black board. Or it could be black... Uh, erasable marker on a white dry erase board. <laughs> uh, but the idea of being able to see it and appreciate it because the opposite is the ground. Uh, and I was powerful about the idea of you can see pain because you, or you can, what did he say? <clears throat> ah. Oh my goodness. You enjoy the pain because there is pleasure behind it. And you enjoy pleasure because there's pain behind it. Something though about this duality, because that's the way our minds seem to be able to orient, is to recognize that we are, you know, living in this human physical body, but there is also the spirit and sometimes people say you know we're spiritual beings having a human experience and so do we know how to appreciate this human experience because we have a spirit or do we appreciate this spiritual experience because we have a body <laughs> yeah it's a different way to look at that from a, from how I've heard it um, but it's a way of, of kind of snapping out of being stuck just being the chalk you know, in this instance, sometimes we can just identify with that, that uh, that's all there are is all there is, is the ground, the chalk layer. But to remember, there's this dual side of everything. And that can help us shift perspective and be able to remember, I'm not only that. So when there's the depression, I'm not, that's not all that there is. And that can be hard, you know, sometimes if you're in the middle of it. And 
yeah, I think it just takes going through that sometimes and having experience and having experienced going through that, that you're able to see that there is another side to it. At first, like going through any experience, like even for me going into how I'm building my business, some of it can feel overwhelming or complicated, but there's also some of it now I'm starting to recognize there's a pattern to it, there's a sequence to it. Um, I get how things operate and some of my um, projects that I'm working on. So it's not so overwhelming. I know how to balance it out with having gone through some of the steps before, building a class or whatever that might be. And uh, But initially, everything felt, felt overwhelming because I didn't have the experience to to bounce off of. It was just the thing was all there was. You know, I think about that earlier when he was talking about how we have a body and then we eventually, you know, don't have the body. We have a dead body. Um, I'm just thinking about a friend of mine whose mother passed away. And um, just this idea of, of at some stage we all leave our body and there's something very humbling about it and there can even be something beautiful about it if we're able to recognize we are more than this body. We start practicing something now that offers us um, kind of that greater perspective on it. You know, rather than just that initial perspective, we don't, we don't know how to see or think differently. We're, we can get overwhelmed in with this this simple um, kind of one-dimensional experience, but over time, deepening into it, it gets more complex, more dynamic. Some of the fears drop away. You know, isn't that how a lot of experience in life is? So what else do we do that that first day on the job, or first time getting on a bicycle, or first time being in a relationship, you know, First time making a million dollars, <laughs> not there yet, but working on that. But initially it's all, there's a lot of initial fears that eventually start to shift as more experiences happen and we have this new perspective now that we're no longer overwhelmed. So that's what I'm gonna share for today. Um, I feel like I need to watch this myself to see if <laughs> what I pulled together here, this is a lot of, um, spontaneously get letting things drop in while I was petting tuna over here um, yeah <clears throat> oh, let's make a little debut we haven't seen tuna in a long time yep tuna turned uh, 18 uh, yeah 18 is that right are you 18 I think so in June so Yay, tuna, still going strong. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching. Bye.